some little fun movement action going on. I just did a couple of one shot draws, kind of warm up just a little bit, some stepping draws. Um, forgot to push record. Um, but this is basically what I'll do to start. Seven yards, A zone. And we'll just kind of rock out some movement and drawing at the same time, trying to get really tuned in, making sure I'm seeing my dot, I'm prepping my trigger, everything, and moving at the same time. Okay, uh, maybe I gotta go two steps. If you notice, I'm just dropping way down, trying to get settled in. And we're gonna talk about A to B movement. So that's all you need to see of that. But really what I'll do is I'll go through about 15 rounds or 12 rounds or so, and I'll just kind of do it like a clock. I'll go forward, nine o'clock, three o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock, three, all over the clock, kind of going, just a little step in movement, seeing my dot settling as I come in, kind of rolling the knees, start to get tuned in, start to get feeling it. And then what I want to talk about the biggest thing is, is moving and getting a task done at the same time, A to B movement. If we're doing A to B movement, we, uh, we don't necessarily need to draw super, super fast if I got some, some ground to cover. So if I got three steps to cover, I don't need to draw and then three steps. I don't want to do that at all, okay? I want to draw and step. I want to draw and move. I want to reload and move, okay? And the biggest thing is, is that we, we get the hell out of point A. So we explode off of point A or bounce off of point A or whatever you want to visualize. And then we land in point B. And the biggest thing is, is that anytime we're going from point A to point B, uh, that, that point B is where we need to be. That's a better point of domination. That's, that's the place that we need to be to shoot these targets in a match, whatever it is. That's where we need to be. So when we get there, we want to be landing with the sights up on target, trigger prepped. Now I'm going to shorten up the uh, shorten up the round counts a little bit because I don't have that much practice ammo today. One, two, two pieces of steel, reload over to that 15 yarder, all while slightly moving left. Pulled that first shot off a little before I wanted to, and it went about in the neck area. So I made that shot off, or shot up. Man. <sighs> Came out of the, uh, the mag pouch with a shitty grip. So like, like, this is just my practice. This is, uh, I'm gonna really try to focus in on what I'm doing wrong. Okay, had to make up a shot on there, coming in, <laughs> having trouble stopping. So, we'll go one steel, reload, side lock, reload, one steel. <laughs> oh, I messed it up. Do a table start, empty gun, table start, um, however you want to do it, hands flat on the table, pick the gun up, rack it however you want to, two, reload, two, reload, one, two, uh, and then 
instead of reloading the fourth time or third time, just switching hands. Stand by. Ah. I messed that one up too. Bad. That's a $7.99. And looks like I got a looks like I got a C. So it's 10 yards behind the table. About seven yards from where we're at now. All right, let's look at the target. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, let's back up here. Seven. Uh-oh. One, two, three. There's one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. So one C. Uh, we'll see if I got enough rounds. This is my last rounds of the day. So just a fun thing to play with. Um, we'll see if I got enough to do another one. So that was a good run. 799. Let's see here. First shot 17, so not too bad at 10 yards. What's up? 